I can't really think about the weather right now because we just get into a discussion about breakfast pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm completely that was a tangent. Distracted. <laughs> That's a tangent. Well, not really. It's breakfast pizza time right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, it definitely is. Um, we don't have any around here, we though. Right so now. I know. That's why I'm I distracted. I don't really want to get into this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my stomach's growling. I'll I was go just down enjoying a, thinking about it. Right. You know? Right. <laughs> That's a rabbit hole I don't want to go down. Yeah. I'll start, you know, <laughs> never recover. Got a long way to get to uh, some food around here. Um, all right, we've got frost across the interior where the growing season has begun, where temperatures have dipped into the lower 30s in a few spots. Uh, we're down to 37 in Buxton, 36 in Sebago, gray is 35. Look how cold it is up here. Berlin, New Hampshire, 29, and it's similar in eastern Maine. We've got 36 in Herman, Dover, Foxcroft, 34. Cold spots up here, Presque Isle and Holton right now at 31. Not much to show you on the weather map. High pressure all the way back through the Mississippi. And nothing going on in the east, except for this right here. This is a little upper level energy. We've been talking about it most of the week. Most of the week it's been right over us and it's led to these unsettled afternoons. It's still going to be somewhat unsettled this afternoon, but it's shifting a little bit. Now the focus is up here in northern Maine and not so much across the south where we've had scattered showers the last few afternoons. Nice quiet morning drive, dry roads too for a change. Need a jacket early, beautiful middle of the day, sunny and pleasant, a little bit of a breeze out of the northwest, but it won't taint the day enough. So it's still pretty good in the afternoon and evening looks great too, except up here where we get these scattered showers and perhaps even some rumbles of thunder. I talked about that about five minutes ago. They could get a little gusty. May have some small hail too, 50% chance north of Millinocket. So it's likely that you get some drops at some point later today. Millinocket down through Bangor, just scattered ones, 30% chance. And then unlikely, but still a small chance from Penobscot Bay through Augusta over to Rumford, less than 30%. Like these temps, we're climbing 65 to 70 for highs this afternoon. And overall, nothing really changes through the weekend. Still got this high down here. There is going to be a front that forms in Canada and it's going to make a run at us for Sunday afternoon. So I suppose Sunday afternoon we have a higher chance to get a pop up shower, brief one or a rumble of thunder. But, you know, don't count on Mother Nature to offer up too much rain. We're not going to see much at all. You might have to do start doing some watering the lawns and some of the gardens. Seas two to three, west winds 10 to 20, water temp 48. There's your seven day forecast. Looks great for the month of May. I can't remember May being this nice recently. I think we've been complaining about Mays recently, and this one's good. Look at that temp set range 65 to 70. Not a lot of rain, maybe an isolated shower there, there, and better chance for them on Tuesday afternoon. So we're cruising now, guys. Looking yeah, good. Simply the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> better than all the rest of recent Mays. We're going to talk about that in just a sec. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. <laughs>